What's up guys, welcome to Wasted Space and we're back in Space Engineers with a kind of funny video for me in that I've built a ship that's literally just modelled off another ship and that's not something I really normally do, that's not my sort of thing so I figured I'd show it to you anyway, see what you guys think because I'm kind of pleased with how this one's come out you know, I'm not really a design builder, I don't make things look good particularly I tend to make things functional, whereas this was completely the other way around so what I have in front of me here, some of you may recognise, hopefully some of you will recognise, that means I did it reasonably well, is a Rifter, Mimitar Rifter from EVE Online. Now the first caveat I have to put up is I did not play a huge amount of EVE Online. I've played a bit, so I, I do know the ship, but I've not played lots of it. So as far as my EVE knowledge is concerned, non-existent. But hopefully I've referenced enough pictures to get the overall sort of design of the thing right, even if I've had to take a few liberties with what's in what spaces, because you don't really know from the pictures. So, I'm pretty pleased with some of the details on this. I actually managed to get those deformo block things, the ones that morph into nearby blocks to do something in a meaningful sense and actually look kind of cool in some places, which I'm really pleased with. And I'm kind of pleased with just general the overall layout, because obviously this is completely vanilla, there's no mods here. And what I wanted to do was try and recreate some of the features that are on the actual craft itself in a way that they looked correct in Space Engineers, but of course without any parts that looked anything like them, hence why we've got quite a lot of beacons in use, which I have to say I think came out with quite a cool effect of combinations of beacons and beacons and spotlights and the end result looks looks pretty nice, especially with Space Engineers lighting, up, lighting updates, even in DirectX 9 things are now starting to look really quite cool. But it gave me a chance to flex my sort of practice muscles, so let me give you a little tour around the inside of the ship, you've hopefully seen a decent portion of what the outside now looks like. So we'll start off by coming in through where you would normally board the craft, which is actually on the rear at the side. So we come around the back here, and here we have a couple of doorways. And I'm going to do this in spectator so I don't have to open all the doors as we go, but you'd obviously come through here and into sort of the main corridor down the centre of the ship. There isn't a huge amount of interior in here, but what I wanted to do was try and make it look just kind of cool again, given the whole purpose of this design was to look good. It wasn't there to be particularly functional. I thought, yep, yeah, let's try and continue this in the inside, but purely vanilla again. So just trying to make interesting shapes and interesting areas using the vanilla-only blocks. So a lot of the stuff in here won't make much sense. It's purely there from an aesthetic purpose. So you've got computer bank areas. I tried to make the med medical bay area look kind of like something that was a, a bit more of a serious machine. And then I also tried to do exactly the same thing with, with the reactor and try and make that thing look like it, it belonged and it was the real deal. And then finally, if we come up through the front window, because that makes sense, we've got some engineering bays, and ah, this isn't the right, let me jump across to a, another version of this. Here we go. Jump into the engineering bays on here, and just get an idea of what the inside of these look like. So, again, a bit of lights, and just general using of the vanilla blocks to try and make it look like these things were designed to work together, even though evidently they're not. And it turns out that gyros with their LED activated so that there isn't a green line around them with a blue light over the top look kind of cool until you get too close and then it ruins it. So if we now jump back to the character we can take this thing for a little spin and you'll immediately notice a few issues with it. And these come down to the bits I've put on it to kind of make it look as real as or real to life as I could. And that comes down to the weapon system and those funny solar panel arms. Now they're using rotors obviously, both of them are using rotors to get the appearance like I have it, so I really wanted this look of a sort of cluster bay of launchers that weren't just standard rockets in the sides, and of course the angle of these winglets on the back here can only be got really with rotors, they're a bit too flat for any other box. But the problem with that is that as we fly around, these things are going to move around on their rotors, especially as we start doing some heavy manoeuvres, and eventually break off and break the ship we're in. So. I would advise if you're going to download and play with this, and of course I will be putting all of this stuff back up on the workshop, that you don't use this one. Unless you want to use it purely for looking pretty, this one here, which is the, the proper version, the original version, doing its best to be a true mimic, doesn't work too great. What we're going to do is jump out of this one and go over to the one that I've updated and changed a little bit to be a little more suitable for proper use in both multiplayer and single player where it's not going to hurt itself. And by doing so, of course, I've actually made it look a little bit less like the real thing. But if it needs must, if you're going to make it usable, then that might be necessary. So we charge over here to this one here, and this has got a couple of mods on it, because in reality, current large ship weapons in Space Engineers suck. 
You've got rocket launchers, and they're terrible. They're useless when you're moving because they like to hit themselves, your own ship. They like to not travel in straight lines and be really based on which way you're moving, which way you're directing. So they're rubbish. So I figured, you guys are probably going to stick some mods on this. I'll do so for you, just so you get an idea of what it could be like with the modded stuff on. So all I've done is I've replaced the main weapon system and the rockets that are in the sides with some modded weaponry, and I've got rid of the rotors up there, and as you can see, this angle isn't quite right. But at least this way, they're not about to destroy our own ship. So now if we come down, turn off our jetpack, past the silly gravity generator thingamajobby, past the funny lights in the ceiling, which I kind of like, even though they're just a couple of lights pointing at each other, up to the cockpit that has quite a cool view, but clearly is not particularly well defended. This is where the cockpit was on the real thing, so this is where I put it. And you can see with this version, if we go in here, hey, proper guns. Now, it does also seem, and this is slightly aside from the point of the video, <clears throat> that weapons in Space Engineers at the moment have a bit of an issue, and missiles are doing this as well, and that is that if you drive into the line of fire, so we're, if we're moving at the same time, at some point, we're going to hit our own weapons. They're going to start spawning the firing of the stuff behind the weapons somehow, and it's going to blow our guns up. So it does mean that you can't drive at full speed while shooting, and it does that does seem to be a common thing. As soon as there's any lag, that's a problem at the moment. But it does give this thing plenty more firepower. Excuse me. <clears throat> But it does give this thing plenty more firepower so that you can actually use it as a viable ship. And oh look, there we go, we've started to have issues because we're turning at the same time as firing. Look at that right hand side, I mean, what is it even hitting? There's nothing there. It's just exploding off of itself sometimes. Very frustrating, but hey. The other thing we can do, of course, is change the weapons that are on the outside, because this only seems to be a problem with rapid fire weapons. So if we change to these ones on the ends, then... We're going to have much less of an issue. These won't collide. These can be used to actually deal a bit of damage. And they don't do too bad. The final thing I wanted to show, because there's not a huge amount else to show for a ship that was mostly aesthetic, other than, of course, it does handle quite well for something this size, is what it looks like when you break it. Because that is probably the favourite thing with this ship, is how fun it is to go and crash the thing. Okay, that I was hoping for a little bit more of a direct hit than just the edge of the wing, but let's have a look. Bring ourselves around, line up with something. Do apologise for some of the random stuff in the background here. Well, I don't apologise, but I'll explain. The random stuff in the background is results of some of the stream fun. This is another one of the builds that came from when I was streaming and people were suggesting ideas, so... Are going to miss? Yep. <laughs> Somehow managing to drift my way around so that I don't hit anything. Impressive. Kind of hard to drive and talk at the same time in any sensible way. There we go. Let's bring ourselves around. I'm not going to miss now. Come on. Slow us down. Too much sideways momentum. Fix the momentum. Charge in. We won't do it from this view, actually. We'll get a better view from outside. In she comes. Into another one. And while the wreckage ensues, I shall say thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. It's a bit different for me. I'm not normally someone that does these kind of really aesthetic design-oriented builds, but I did have a lot of fun doing this one. And I think, I think it's come out pretty well, albeit not necessarily the most practical ship in the world. Certainly one of the coolest ones I've ever built. So I'm not big on cool-looking designs, and this one seems to have fixed that problem for me. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you did like it, please hit like. Please hit subscribe. It really does help me in the channel out. And otherwise, I will catch you next time. Woo!